So a couple of years ago, I did some volunteering in Sri Lanka, and it was at an education centre in a very poor village. And this education centre was giving English lessons and computer skills to children in the village, because these are the two skills that you really needed to be top drawer on to have any chance of getting uh, education or a job in the city. So the longer I volunteered at the centre, I started to work alongside the creator of this centre, and his name was Saman. And I learned more about him and his life. Now he was the first child from, well, the first person from the village to actually make it to the city and get a job, which was unheard of at the time. He was a very young, ambitious uh, lad. And um, he used to come back to the village to visit his parents at the weekends. And his routine was to make a cup of tea on a Saturday morning and sit on the porch and work on his laptop. And a young boy from the village came past. And this village didn't get electricity till the year 2000, so you can kind of see where the village was at. And this young boy came past and obviously was understandably very interested in this thing that he was working on. So Saman gave him a little brief lesson on the computer and uh, showed him a few basics. So the following weekend, Saman uh, repeats the routine, cup of tea, goes out, laptop on his lap, opens it up and he looks up and he smiles. And it's because obviously this little lad has spread the word and told the whole village about this computer. <laughs> and now he's got every child, um, from, or every, every young kid from the village waiting there like, wanting this lesson, so he gives the whole, whole group a, a, another lesson on the computer, which is great. So he began repeating this the week after week, and things started to grow, and the word spread to surrounding villages, and more and more people came, all the children from surrounding villages came. His colleagues um, at his city job heard about what he was doing, and they donated a few computers, some old computers that they had laying around. And then year on year went, and organizations and charities and individuals heard about what he was doing and recognized this great thing that he was setting up and started funding and donating and he ended up 10 years later with this center and all the children that started learning at the start at the center had now grown moved into the city and got jobs in the city very successfully and now were coming back to the center to work at the weekends and Saman had enough money in the pot to give up his job in the um, corporate city, the one that he'd been chasing for so long, so that he could focus on this worthwhile cause, which I think is a great story and a great example. So this particular, this story that I've just told has started to become a real significant, um, holding more and more significance as I get a little bit older in my life. So I was cleverly manipulated as a very young boy by an adult male and sexually exploited for a number of years, which is a terrible thing to happen to anybody. So now I want to create something like Salmon created. And I sometimes think to myself, I wake up some mornings and I'm like, ah, oh, it's not possible. But then I think, ah, oh, but I've already seen it. Like I've seen it with my own eyes. It's not an article I read or, or following someone on Instagram that's been successful out of nothing. Like I've seen it with my own eyes, it's an example. So surely I've got to take that and um, take that on board and think, well, I can do it. It's crazy for me to think it's not possible. And now I'm, for the last couple of weeks I've been floating this way in my head, am I going crazy or is this just logic? So I just wanted to speak about it tonight. So I ask all of you guys, what are you telling yourself that's not possible? Maybe it's uh, to get over a difficult breakup or something happened to you as a child that you never think you could get over. Or I don't know, there's bullying at work that you can't get over, something's complex at work that you can't work your way around. And then I want you to think even more about what you've seen in your life or what you've, uh, yeah, you've seen, what you've seen in your life and think, well, have I seen anybody else do this before? Because if I have, then surely if they've done it, then I can definitely do it. Um, and that kind of makes logic in my mind, but I don't know if I'm going crazy or not. But so, you know, like during the break or at the end of the evening, if anyone's got this thought, this kind of thing, please come, I'd really like to hear like your little snippet, that would be great. So what I'm saying is, maybe we need to start reuniting with what we've seen in the past so that we can advance in the future. Thank you. Thank you.